hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i know long time no see you're probably asking where have i been uh or maybe not maybe you're not that uh concerned but four weeks for me is big break especially when i didn't mean to take one uh so yeah let's chat uh because a lot of stuff has been going on first and foremost i started working my summer job again and then i promptly left said summer job uh so i have a lot more time now and i think in all aspects that will be better for me um it allows me more time to do my job that pays me the most my work from home writing job if you did not know that's what i do um so yeah left my other job um wasn't planning on leaving it it kind of me leaving was my decision, but uh, was not planned. So yeah, I'm not gonna get into too many details because I like just left yesterday and it's not really like why I left isn't super important. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I now only have two jobs, which is nice. Um, definitely more me time there, which I think I needed. I was definitely burning the candle at both ends, as they say. Um, and you know, you can't do that forever. And I wasn't sleeping well. I was sacrificing doing things I really loved and that actually like keep me healthy, like going to the gym. It was causing me a lot of uh, health problems with my heart. Um, Cause I do have a heart condition. I've talked about that on my channel before, if you're new here. Uh, but yeah, so I decided you know what, let's, let's take a step back. Um, I really want to do like a lot more creative writing. So I want to get back into that. But I also want to get back into making videos for you guys. I have so many ideas that I just haven't done. And unfortunately, like some of that is like history of horror that I restarted, got put to the side and I didn't want that to be what happened. So I definitely want to pick back up with that. That will probably be my next video will be another history of horror and um, you know maybe some other ideas I've been waiting for. I definitely have some different booktube ideas uh, that aren't like just TBRs and wrap ups. But luckily all my work friends were super supportive of my choice, um, which made leaving a lot easier. And they... You know, I'm still going to see them. Like, we're close enough now that I see them at Christmas. I see them, you know, I I see them a lot more. So, and one of my other friends actually left the job as well. So, we both actually uh, left. She left before I did. Like, she didn't leave because of me. And I didn't leave because of her. It was just more so of she wanted to expand her position. And they weren't able to do that. So, she went somewhere that she could. I'm still not sure about this brow product. This is the Thicket Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara from NYX. It has like those little fibers in it, which I like in my thing. Oh yeah, by the way, Ruger's back here napping. I don't know. It, I like the little fibers. I've used stuff like that before, but it's very, very stiff and kind of like you have to be very careful because the minute you get too much, it's, it's, you gotta like wipe it all off and start over. I don't know. I don't remember. In my last video, I think I had said that I was going to New York. I've done that since then. Um, and in turn, I had my life changed by seeing Moulin Rouge on Broadway. I actually saw it I think there were like 11 shows left with Ashley Lauren and Aaron Tevitt. So, or Tevitt, not Tevitt. Um, so, yeah, I went and saw them. Incredible, amazing show. Even like my mom is not a Broadway musical person at all. On stage, in movies, none of that. So... I knew that I would like it because I knew the show somewhat. Um, I had seen clips. I knew 
Roxanne, like, obviously, El Tango de Roxanne was, like, you know, like, everyone else in the theater, I was, like, waiting for it. Um, and it was incredible. Um, but my mom really liked it. So, I was like, this is a great show if my mom liked it. Um, and since then, I've actually taken a virtual class with Jessica Lynn Golden, who played Nini when I went and saw the show. Um, and if you don't know who Nini is, she's one of the characters that, she's one of the principal characters. Um, she basically finds out that Satine is sick first and keeps it a secret, but, you know, kind of urges her to stay away from the Duke and all that stuff. So she's an important part of the show. She's really funny. She's an amazing dancer and great dance teacher too. Um, but yeah, I loved it so much. And I would go see it again, even without them. However, I don't think it would ever be the same. Like when you see a cast like that, especially someone like uh, Aaron Tveit originated the part of Christian. So he spent like a lot of time at that role and you can tell, I think it would be hard for me to like, I would, I would just be comparing the whole time basically. I've actually seen like quite a few shows recently, not necessarily on Broadway, um, but in my city, I saw Legally Blonde when it was on tour. I think it's still on national tour. Um, I saw the national tour of Legally Blonde. Super good. One of the girls I used to dance with was in that. And she was very good. And then, um, but, oh, I saw Jersey Boys with one of my friends that came to our city and we went and saw it. I liked that much more than I thought I would. Because that, I'm not really like a Four Seasons fan, but she is, so she really liked it. And I think that's it. Those are the ones I can think of recent, like shows that I've recently seen. And then I've been to one concert recently, and that was super good. It was Daughtry, which if you've been here for a while, you probably know Daughtry is one of my favorite, 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 favorite bands. Um, I love Chris Daughtry. I thought he should have won American Idol when he was on. But, you know. So, yeah. Basically, the Moulin Rouge soundtrack has been playing in my house nonstop. Um, especially, like, Crazy Rolling and Roxanne. Oh, and Backstage Romance. That is a great number. I'm gonna put falsies and stuff on here in a minute, but I just wanna get the face kind of done and out of the way. I've been loving this dark cream blush that I've been using. I think it gives me a little more natural color than some of the pinky ones. Like the more pink ones I use, this one's more red. Uh, okay, under the eyes, I wanna use some really cool blue tones. I really love this. This is um, D1 from the Norvina. I think it's volume two collection. Yeah, Pro Pigment Palette volume two. This D1 color is so pretty. Like Once I get it on, you'll see it's a shimmery blue. And it blends with C4. So pretty like underneath the eye. I love highlighting right there. Like, I think it gives a nice swoop to the nose. Lashes are on and I feel like they make this look so much prettier. Um, I think it really highlights the under eye with the lashes. I forgot how good NYX lip pencils are. This is the, I think these are just the regular ones, right? Oh, slide on, glide on ones. And for lips, I'm gonna use a NYX Slip Tease. This is in Pop It. It's a very springy color, kind of springy look too. It's cause it's super kind of light, but yeah. So I'll be back with more stuff for you all very, very soon. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, check out my other stuff, get caught up on all my other crazy life updates that have happened. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.